Rose Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and the preparing for fashion week vlog Paris that is make sure to give a girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion beauty lifestyle and travel videos all right we are back in New York we're back in Harlem we're here for 72 hours preparing for Paris it's always easier for me to fly out of New York than to fly out of Miami um, and yeah, I'm very, very excited. I'm going to show you guys what I plan on packing. I'm not going to show you the outfits until we get to Paris, but I'm showing you what I'm packing. I have some new items in. It's going to be good. Uh, but I got in early this morning and I'm going to dinner tonight with my girl Tanya and some other girlfriends. And we're going to have a good time. We're going to this place called Habibi. It's in Brooklyn. And I heard about it through um, my friend Marjan Carlos. Um, she's on Instagram, Marjan Carlos. Definitely follow her. If you love like a true fashion girly, Marjan got you. Uh, she used to write for Vogue um, and I used to love reading her pieces. She's now freelance. She does a lot of hosting. Um, she also, I believe, has a podcast called Your Favorite Auntie. She's also on Instagram and she does like fashion takes. Uh, definitely give her a follow. Like you're going to love her content. It's so informative but fun. But yeah, I saw that she hosted like a dinner there, I believe during New York Fashion Week, and that's how it got on my radar. And so all of us want to go and experience it. But it is deep in Brooklyn, and I live in Harlem, and y'all know that's a long distance relationship. It's definitely going to take me at least 45 minutes to get there. So I had to get started getting myself together early today. Um, I just finished my makeup. I did my same everyday makeup i did my hair i'll link all of my makeup products below the um foundation is beauty counter skin twin so good color 550. i'm gonna spray on a little bit of the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray and i have a mini one that i think is great for traveling it smells good and i usually don't use a setting spray but i found that since i've been in miami your girl needs it where the makeup just slides off my face and we can't we can't have that um this dress is super cute you've seen it before i shot it maybe like two new york fashion week not new york fashion week new york city vlogs ago um it's it's from the brand babaton i got it on revolve it's super old i maybe had it like two or three years but there are so many dresses just like this one so i'll link a few down below if you're interested but because we're doing an off the shoulder moment and we're gonna have a little clavicle out, I'm gonna use a little bit of this Koba um, body hair and body oil. By the way, Koba is a black owned business. I went to an event they had during New York Fashion Week and I love the body souffle and I love this oil and it smells so fresh. Your girl is gonna be shining and even though it's oil it doesn't like get your clothes oily it's kind of more like a dry oil which is what we want we don't want to stain our clothes i'm going to put on a little bit of this hand cream from l'occitane i decided to bring this with me y'all because my hands have been going through it i don't know <laughs> what it is but this is like a hand and nail cream it smells divine and it just moisturizes your hands so well. Sorry, I'm using my light so you won't be able to see, but I'll overlay a video for you guys. And I think that's all we need. Well, we need an earring. The lip is Fenty HBIC. Y'all know it's my favorite right now. Ever since I showed this in a previous vlog, I've been getting so many comments about how amazing this is and how those of you who have this love it. It smells like you could eat this. This is how good it smells. And I'm trying to get out of wearing masculine fragrances, even though I like it. I think I like masculine fragrances because I like men to smell like the per <laughs> like the perfumes that I like, which is a weird thing um so yeah i'm trying to lean more feminine with my fragrances and this one smells so good it has chocolate it has rum it has a uh, spice like it smells like you can eat it and it it doesn't lean masculine or feminine 
which is why I think I really really enjoy it so yeah this is the uh, Feb Gourmand from Guerlain it smells amazing I wish they had a hair fragrance we're gonna put this everywhere like I know people are like oh my god you're spraying so much I just I just have to I just have to okay we're gonna find an earring I'm gonna finish getting ready I'll show you guys the full look and then we will head out because Alexa what time is it the time is 7 36 p.m. okay it's 7 36 I'm trying to leave by 7 45 because dinner is at 8 30 and I know it's gonna take me at least 45 minutes to get there I'm telling you living in Harlem it seriously is a long distance relationship it's long distance but I love my girls so we're going to Brooklyn I think afterwards we might grab drinks somewhere I think I'm gonna go with these little tiny huggy earrings from local European but I'm very excited for this vlog because I have so much new stuff to show you guys and like outfits and things I'm gonna be wearing in Paris that you've never seen before and I think it's just gonna be it's gonna be good so stick around kids get your wine get your tea get your coffee get your snacks it's, it's gonna be a good one all right guys I'm a little backlit but here is the dress it's so chic I love it it's quite thick um, and then I just have on my Celine boots these are old uh, but a lot of brands make this shape so if you like it I'll try and find a few um yeah and then I just have on these little huggy earrings from local European you already know the makeup the fragrance and everything else so that's it I'm gonna throw on my Frankie shop coat um, grab my scarf because it's really cold tonight um, and a purse and then we are out of here
It is an absolutely gorgeous, scrumptious day here in Harlem. Um, I got a workout in with my girl Life with Glory B, an hour long workout. Took myself a shower, by the way. I installed that super cool shower head that I got in a gift bag from What Goes Around Comes Around during New York Fashion Week. If you watch that video of all the things I got during New York Fashion Week, I installed that shower head immediately and I love it. I'll link it down below. It's amazing. I've already got a couple of questions about it. The water pressure, chef's kiss, highly recommend. I forgot the name of it, but it'll be down in the description box. Of course, use some of my favorite youth to the people. Um, niacinamide body cleanser. It smells like ancient jungle. It smells amazing. Um, one of my favorite body cleansers. Put a little use to the people kale and spinach moisturizer on and did a very plain like makeup look. I went and got myself some breakfast and then I sat down and did some research for a video that I'm about to film. It's going to be the seven um the top seven trends of 2024 based on new york fashion week shows and i really had to go through and watch all the shows y'all and and collect all the trends and the videos and photos to go along with it it took me three days and i'm sure this video is only going to be like 30 minutes long but it's going to be such a good video i think it's going to go live before this one so if you're just a vlog girly or a guy and you only watch my vlogs please watch that video because the amount of work that went into it and a lot of these trends are already in your closet i show how i wear those trends that are already in my wardrobe so yeah it's a really great video so check it out um even though i haven't filmed it yet i know it's gonna be good because i worked very hard doing the research um yeah so i was gonna recurl my hair but I still have quite a bit of curls from last night. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I wrap my hair at night so that I have a nice loose wave in the mornings. So I don't think I'm going to recurl my hair. I'm just going to film the video with slept on curls. Um, the lip is Dior Lip Glow Oil, my fave, and Rosewood. Yeah, I have on this acne t-shirt that i got from my teresa it's my favorite like chill run errands because it feels it's like brushed cotton so it feels super cozy and of course my favorite heat tech leggings from uniqlo that i wear every day y'all i can't front they're so good best 22 dollars i've well 23 dollars i have spent um in a really long time so yeah i'm about to film this video and then i think what we're gonna do is head downtown now look i know i said i wasn't shopping because the tea is i'm going to paris in two days and the dollar to the euro is amazing right now and also luxury items in europe are already cheaper and then you get the vat back so it doesn't make any sense for me to shop here when i know i know i'm gonna shop in paris and i'm gonna try to get to the outlets in paris to show you all ah, so excited but I just need to go see what's out there. I need to go see what's out there so I can put it on my list to buy in Paris. Because I don't know when the next time I will be in Europe. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. I want to go to Bloomingdale's. Because y'all know, Bloomingdale's has, uh, what's the bakery called? Magnolia Bakery. And we're gonna get we're gonna get some banana pudding <laughs> we're gonna get some we're gonna get some muffins we're gonna get some cookies look i work out so i can eat speaking of eating last night dinner with the girls was amazing we went to habibi it's in brooklyn it, the place that it is is a little sketchy like when you roll up you're like where am i first of all the street is full of potholes um and it looks really dicey it looks like a bunch of like warehouses and you're just like this can't be it but then it was like a group of people going into this unmarked uh warehouse and i was like oh i'm in the right place because everybody looked nice i believe it's also a social members club the building that it's in um i think it has down in the basement like a party area i think there's a, a hookah lounge on one floor and there's a membership i don't know how much the membership is but then on the top floor is habibi which is a like mediterranean middle eastern restaurant and the food is bomb okay the ambiance is great you walk in as soon as you step off the elevator 
they have a, a, a free glass of Prosecco wait, waiting for you. Like literally, as soon as I walked through the door, I didn't even have time to, to breathe. The young lady was like, would you like a free glass of Prosecco? And I was like, yes. I mean, do you think I'm gonna say no? I'm gonna take the free glass of Prosecco. And then they walk you through this beautiful, super dark and sexy hallway filled with curtains and mirrors. Um, there's one little section kind of in the front that I think is more private for bigger parties. And then you go around to the back and there's a huge room, dimly lit, little orange trees, uh, tablecloths, and very sexy. They have a huge bar and you can see like downtown Manhattan in Brooklyn and it just looks stunning. Um, I met up with Shauna, Tanya, and Kayla and we had a bomb time like talking just about life girl chat and eating the food was so good we ended up getting a meat platter a seafood platter rice and fries and that comes with like little starters with a tomato and, and veggies with yogurt sauces and let me just tell you it was delicious okay everything was good the ambiance was amazing you end the meal with hot mint tea mm. Now we didn't get a dessert, but I feel like dessert was delicious. I also got a really good drink called the Rahim. I think it had gin, uh, cucumber, no, gin, uh, melon, uh, some other kind of fruit, but it was delicious, okay? Highly, highly, highly recommend Habibi in Brooklyn for a date night, girls night out. You dress up, you make it a moment, okay? All right, so let me go film this video because it's already one. I wanna be done filming by three so that we can head down to Bloomingdale's. Um, and then maybe we might pop in a sax. I'm not sure, we'll see. Hmm. There's one pair of shoes I want that I know is sold out in the, U in the UK or in Europe that I may be able to find here. So we might buy something, but we're just looking. Okay, we're just looking. All right, you guys, I will check back in when I'm done filming. Um, we'll be dressed and ready to head to do a little window shopping. I'm gonna just show y'all what's available because I'm a good friend. Hi guys, so I just finished recording my video. I think I started at one, it's 2.35. And I think I'm getting better at sit down videos, mainly because I really researched and I did an outline for this video and I didn't feel like as kind of self-conscious sometimes when you do sit down videos i feel like they can be so uh, like uh professional and i'm not used to being that level <laughs> of professional because i vlog mostly um and you feel like you can't mess up and that you know everything has to be on point you're really putting on designer so you need to know how to pronounce things and you need to know the background and i feel like I did a great job of researching for that video. So make sure to watch it. The top seven trends of 2024, according to New York Fashion Week. I think you guys are gonna love it. I really enjoyed filming it. Um, I put on this Source Unknown black sweater and I have on these faux leather shorts from Walmart. They are from the Scoop brand, which I just learned is designed exclusively by Brandon Maxwell, who had an incredible show during New York Fashion Week. Um, the shorts are $22. I'm wearing a medium. I'll link them down below. And then I paired them with these opaque tights from Hue. I got these from Amazon. I did like an all black look. But yeah, I want it to be done by three and I pretty much am. So I'm gonna head down to Bloomingdale's, of course, and take you guys with me. What earrings do I have on? Oh, my Louis. But I just got a package in from Youth to the People. How'd they know? I was just <laughs> singing their praises. I already took it out of the box, but this is their fast absorbing, non-greasy body butter for the ultimate smooth and ultra hydrated glow. You already know, I love you to the people. You to the people, if y'all watching, y'all might as well just sponsor my life because I use all the products. All of the products are clean, um, usually vegan. They smell amazing. They do everything they say they're gonna do. The only moisturizer I'm using on my face right now, you to the people, kill in spinach, and I feel like it's making me age backwards. Your girl is Benjamin Buttony, okay? Um, but this is formulated with super berry extracts, 3%, niacinamide which is also in my body cleanser 
um yayoba shea and kapuku um i don't know what those are but it's scented with yusu and green tea and blonde woods so let's get into this hydrate and glow cream you guys know all of their packaging is a uh, biodegradable we love that reducing carbon footprints here and i love their packaging everything is just very very simple and minimal so there it is of course this is a vegan formula it says use morning and night and as needed yeah so let's do a first impressions i'm just gonna scoop a little bit off of this like little white part at the top it's a pale yellow um color I already love it I can smell the lemon it smells very refreshing it's like lemony like lemongrass refreshing and it's super moisturizing y'all see that y'all see the glow let me do the other arm because I don't think you can see the difference look <laughs> I wasn't paid to do this but you just saw me put lotion on this arm and I have nothing on here you see the difference this one is glowing and this one is a little ashy that's the difference go ahead and get you some i need to i need to even it out it smells amazing it smells like lemongrass and something else that's very fresh it's a very fresh scent but now look do you see the glow um i'm here for it <laughs> And it smells really good. I'm definitely gonna pack this and take this to, <laughs> to Paris with me. The, the amount of like things, like beauty products I'm taking to Paris is literally going to weigh down my suitcase at least 15 pounds. But we fly Delta. So we get to check two bags for free, okay? We're a Delta girly. If you're also a Delta girly or a guy, let me know down in the comments because we fam, we here. Special thanks to you, to the people. I'll link this down below. I'm gonna get myself together. I might wear the same outfit, but I think I'm gonna change into my tights and we're gonna head out. Let's go. I'm heading out for a day of shopping in New York City. This is my outfit. I'm wearing this hoodie that I got from Canal Street Market. It's super fun. The leggings are Heat Tech leggings from Uniqlo. I always stock up on like two of these every winter they get me through. The sneakers are my Nike Dunks. Um, I'm wearing these and other stories sunglasses, best $30 I ever spent. I'm gonna top off the look with this John coat from the Frankie shop because it's quite cold in New York City today. And I also love that I can pop my hoodie out to add a little color to an otherwise very drab <laughs> outfit. That's the look. Let's go shopping.
All right, guys, left Bloomingdale's, did a little walk through Fifth Avenue, got my Magnolia Bakery. Now we're at Tiffany's because I need to buy some gifts. morning I got up made myself some breakfast and I got a YouTube video up for you guys because today is Sunday but tomorrow I am heading to Paris so today is the day that your girl tries on things gets her out outfits together figures out what I'm going to wear every day while I'm in Paris that that just saves me so much time and confusion because girl it could just take a while to get myself together and I don't want to be late because the traffic in Paris is horrible um but yeah i just did a quick everyday face i have on some dior lip glow oil it's the rosewood my absolute favorite i have on my favorite t-shirt from walmart ten dollars from the sofia vergara line super thick great for spring and then i have on this dries van noten skirt i just love the color burgundy is so in right now i did wear this previously in paris but i almost feel like i want to take it again but we'll see we will see so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys just a few things that i'm packing for paris we are going to start with accessories i got a brand new bag in from mason or mason eli uh you guys saw me wear this bag this is their luna bag it's in a beautiful brown suede i wore this during uh new york fashion week uh, such a good bag and i wanted this one this is their carry all bag and i love it it definitely gives me like the row margo esque type of bag without that price point i believe this was around 200 dollars, and it's so beautiful uh it has a little strap here that has a hole so you just kind of put it through here and then you can clamp it with this little gold piece and that's how it stays closed on the sides it does have button snap closures as well but you can unhook them to expand the bag if you have more um, and it's just a beautiful suede bag look at the inside so luxe and it also comes with this little purse that's attached to the bag so that your things just don't get lost but i'm on a brown kick and I think it's just super chic. So that's the first bag I'm definitely taking to Paris. I'm also going to take 
both of my Dior bags. This is my new newspaper print bag that I got from the Ace of Style on Instagram. And this is my pony hair saddle bag that I got from Wet Goes Around Comes Around. Nice white look, you know, nice, you know, caramelly, beautiful look. I'm doing a lot of neutrals for Paris, so I don't know, you guys. I'm really into brown and whites and neutrals right now. I don't know what it is with little pops of color, but that is what I plan to wear while in Paris. Now, I'm not going to show you, I'm not going to try on anything for you. I'm just going to show you so that when you watch the Paris vlogs, you will be, you know, surprised. Okay, in addition to those bags, I'm also taking my Poland bag. I love this bag. I might even visit their boutique when I'm in Paris, so look out for the shopping, Paris shopping vlog. Um, and I'm also bringing this NDG bag. It's so amazing. They have it in white, they have it in cream, they have it in black, they have it in cream leather, they have it in a beautiful like blush leather, and I'm gonna get another one for sure. Like, it's just so chic. I love this. I'll link this down below as well. Now let's get into a few pairs of shoes I'm packing. I already told you guys I'm doing a lot of neutral looks. So these Bottega stretch net pumps will come in pretty handy. Um, I can also wear uh, opaque tights with these as well. And you still have that like see through to the toe moment. I think that's just so sexy when you can still see like your toenail polish through a shoe. Uh, so these are going to come in handy. They're also very comfortable. I can walk around all day in these. I think these with a nice long flowy pair of trousers. Chef's kiss. I'm also taking my Chanel pearl mules. These always look super chic. I have a pair of black trousers from Ray. The brand Ray from Matches Fashion. Ugh. I love those pants and these will go so well. They're also low. I can walk around in them all day. They're very very chic. Um, and pretty comfortable. I actually got these in pairs, so why not? And then, of course, we're bringing the shoe of the moment, my Scaparelli's, my toe sandals. Now, I have a look in mind for these. I have this beautiful cardigan from La Jeance and my Walmart faux leather shorts with a pair of opaque tights and these. I'm telling you, it's going to be a vibe. It's going to be a moment. It's going to be <laughs> a look. I ended up getting these from Bergdorf. Um, my girl, Jerry, she is the best sales associate known to man who works at Bergdorf. I'll put her Instagram uh, in the description box. Definitely check her out. Watch her story. She posts amazing things and she managed to get these for me. And I love them. Uh, of course, I'm going to take boots and sneakers because I plan on doing a lot of like walking around. But my favorite black boots are these from Stuart Weitzman. These are their parton boots. These are old, they're kind of hard to find now, but they're very, very comfortable. And I just think the heel is just so chic and sexy. They are buttery soft leather and they just look great, especially with like a midi, a midi skirt or a pencil skirt or a mini skirt favorite boots of all time so much so that I also have them <laughs> in brown if I can find any online I will link them down below they are true to size I usually get my normal size which is a an 11 and they fit perfectly so I'll probably end up taking both of these because again I'm doing a lot of neutral looks with pops of color okay guys let's get into a few clothing pieces that i'll be taking with me to paris okay remember i was telling you about wearing my scaparelli's with a beautiful la Jeance, uh cardigan this is the cardigan and she is gorge it's giving balma it's like a white furry material it has shoulder pads i'm loving these little uh, pockets on it and it's super long and just so chic. I love the gold button design. I don't think they make this anymore, but they make a shorter version of it now. This one is pretty long, almost like a boyfriend sweater. And I'm planning to wear it with these shorts, these black faux leather shorts with pockets from Walmart, 22 bucks. And this, some opaque tights and my scaparelli sandals you guys it's gonna be a moment it's gonna be a vibe it's gonna be a look 
wait for it it's happening so definitely taking that this skirt i'm taking because i haven't worn it in so long this is really this was one of the first like runway pieces i ever bought this is a mason margella skirt it is velvet with satin underneath and when you wear it it just flickers in the light it's so gorgeous and i haven't worn it in quite some time so i think i if i can find the pictures where i did wear it with this like sheer blue uh top i'll pop it up here so you can check it out but it's just a gorgeous skirt and i think i'm gonna wear it with a nice chunky sweater um and like an ankle boot or a pump and this would just be such a vibe i love this next up because i am i'm gonna have some nights out y'all know we go on a cost we go on a cost for dinner at least one night and probably a few other places as well um and i really want to rewear this dress now you guys remember when like these satin almost lingerie like dresses were having a moment last year i still love that look and this beautiful dress it's stunning wait what's the brand again i can't remember it was like a very famous brand oh sir the label yes gorge gorge lace dress now can you see this with my black leather Saint Laurent jacket my black sheer Saint Laurent pumps and a nice clutch Ugh. it's a vibe they made this dress in a ton of different colors like cream white navy blue and this brown but the brown did it for me you guys know I love brown so taking this in addition to that dress I don't know where we gonna wear this dress but she's getting worn now I got the last dress that I just showed you as well as this dress from my Teresa I was a partner with them for most of 2023 um, and I was able to get this stunning dress this is Laquan Smith it's so beautiful it's sheer with a little bit of black velvet stripes it's pretty much backless and it's gorgeous of course at night you can't see much but uh she's getting worn somewhere in paris so stay tuned um if i can find any more of these i know this like pattern also comes in a bodysuit uh and i think that's it a bodysuit and a dress and i think maybe a shorter version of this dress as well i'll link it down below um let's see i'm also taking my cargo skirts from the something by sanji monroe steel collection this is the slate cargo skirt in black uh, denim comes with these pockets there's a zipper down the middle so you can control how high or low the slit is and then we also have the one that we did in the summertime and this beautiful cargo color like a beautiful caramel brown um, that also comes with the cargo belt with the little cargo pocket so yeah definitely taking both of these skirts i think this is perfect with a nice like crop sweater and a boot with the zipper up so every time i take a step you can see the boot it's going to be a vibe by the way we are having a sale something by sanji moreau still actually you know what i think the sale is over <laughs> hopefully you are following me on instagram when i announce the sale but by the time this video goes up, the sale will be over. But if you still want to shop the Noir collection, that's where this black skirt is from. Definitely check out somethingbysanji.com. I will link it down below in the description box as well as in a pinned comment. And you all can check it out. And last but not least, we have a brand new coat. This is from NA-KD. I've been shopping them a lot. They have like some really cute outerwear. I wore a bubble green crop coat from them. Um, in like a forest green during New York Fashion Week. I'll pop some photos up if I can remember. Uh, but I saw this and they were having a 40% off everything sale and I had to have it. So it is a like almost like a shirling on the inside. And I don't know what kind of fabric this is on the outside. But it looks almost like a suede gray. And I'm loving gray right now. I got this in a size 40. I'm normally 
I believe a 30, a 36, but I wanted it to be quite oversized. Oh, I love it. It feels amazing. And you guys, this comes all the way down to my ankles. Oh, I think this jacket was like 80 bucks because it was on sale. It is super warm. I know the color is coming across a little brown, but in person, it is an exact gray. But, oh, isn't she gorge? Isn't she gorge? This is a moment. Just the jacket by itself is a moment. Let me show you. And I want you guys to know, it feels luxe and it feels amazing. This is gonna look so chic in Paris. It's gonna look so chic. Um, so I'm not taking too many coats. I'm gonna take this coat. I'm gonna take my black Frankie shop coat that you've seen me wear a few times in this vlog. I'm gonna take my Saint Laurent uh, cropped leather jacket. And honestly, that might be it for coats because I'm taking some really thick sweaters and I'm only trying to take two suitcases, maybe three. All right, my love, so that is everything. Well, it's not everything. I have a lot of other stuff I'm gonna pack, but you've seen those things already, but you haven't seen them, how I'm going to style them soon for Paris Fashion Week. But I would love it if you guys tune into those vlogs. When this goes live, I'm, I'm already in Paris. In fact, I'll probably be heading back here. <laughs> um, but I really wanted my time in Paris to enjoy. Also, the internet service there is very not good. <laughs> so it was stressing me out trying to upload or download the videos to my computer, upload them to a Dropbox to be edited. Um, it was taking hours and hours out of my day um, the last two times I've been in Paris. So I'm not going to put myself through that this time. So the vlogs won't be very close to real time for Paris so if you want to see what I'm doing when I'm doing it please follow me on Instagram at Monroe Steel I'll put that on the screen here editor please put it on the screen here Monroe Steel um, M-O-N-R-O-E-S-T-E-E-L-E -E -E -E. follow me there I will story in real time every single day uh, but the vlog is not going to go up till I'm nearly back because I just don't want to stress myself out about uploading and it's going to take away from my experience enjoying Paris and the shows and everything focusing on 10 hours of trying to upload. So sorry guys that it won't be super duper quick turnaround like it normally is for New York but you know you're still going to get two Paris vlogs. So yeah, please follow me on Instagram if you want to see what's going on. Follow me, check out my stories. I will also be posting most likely every day on Instagram. You can keep up with me there until you can enjoy a full hour of Paris content here on YouTube. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We, we did a lot. We hung out with the girls. We did a little shopping. By the way, I didn't buy anything. I did try some things on and made a, a little mental note of things I'm gonna buy in Paris because it's cheaper. Um, we got some gifts. You see my Tiffany's boxes there. Those are just my, um, I bought a few cups. The Tiffany uh, espresso cups for some friends. I always love to give Tiffany gifts. Um, just to show my appreciation for them helping me out. Um, and I showed you what we're packing for Paris. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't leave just yet. You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do to give me a thumbs up. Now I have a goal this year of getting to 150,000 subscribers. Right now we're at 121,000 of you. I can't believe that number. That number blows my mind. So thank you to all 121,000 of you who trust me and who enjoy my content enough to subscribe. It means so much to me, like, oh gosh, we're not gonna cry today, we're not gonna cry. But it means so much to me. Um, I actually met a subscriber yesterday when I was shopping. Hey girl, hey, I hope you enjoyed your dinner. Um, but I love meeting you guys too, so I really want to plan a meetup probably in New York sometime in June. So make sure you are subscribed to my newsletter. There's a link down to it in the description box and in my pinned comment. Um, so you can get the details on that because I just want to show my appreciation for you guys showing up for me 
every Sunday and every Wednesday. And if you're new here and you're not subscribed, you should su subscribe. This is a fun channel. We do a lot over here. Y'all show you the food. I'll show you the fashion. I'll show you the beauty. You know, we keep it very cute <laughs> over here. There's no drama. You know, we're just fun. We're just living life. We're just, you know. It's a good time over here, so subscribe. And if you haven't yet, turn on your notification bell so that you never miss a video. You guys know when I do hauls and things, the first couple hundred people, thousand people who watch the video usually get the products first. So you wanna make sure you are here when the video goes live. And if you're subscribed, make sure you, you're subscribed because y'all know how YouTube is and they will unsubscribe you. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in Paris. Bye, guys.